Today we're going to talk about Xbox Cloud Gaming on the iPad and the iPhone. To access the Xbox Cloud Gaming service on your iPad and iPhone, you're going to need to enroll in the Game Pass Ultimate plan. I'll leave a link below to their current offer to buy one month for $1 and get two months free. Unfortunately, Apple does not currently allow Xbox Cloud Gaming to have its own dedicated app. Luckily, Xbox has found a workaround for this. They've created a web app which can be accessed through the Safari browser using the first link in the description below. Once you have the Xbox Cloud Gaming site up on your Safari browser, you're going to want to click on this icon in the upper right hand corner and click Add to Home Screen. You'll then find this icon appear on your home page. Click sign in in the upper right hand corner and sign in with your Microsoft credentials. You'll see that some games have touch controls available, but my preferred method of playing is with an Xbox controller. You can easily connect your Xbox Bluetooth controller through the settings of your iPad or iPhone. Click the top button on your controller until the Xbox button blinks. Then your Xbox controller should appear under Bluetooth devices. Simply click it to connect your controller. I've tried out several games like Jedi Fallen Order and MLB The Show 22 on both my iPad and my iPhone. Overall, I've had a pretty pleasant experience. I haven't noticed a very significant input lag and the graphics quality is pretty excellent in my opinion. I even tried mirroring my iPad to my Apple TV while playing Xbox Game Cloud. And while the results were playable, I found that the picture quality wasn't too great. And so it took away from the experience. I would say my one major gripe with the Xbox Cloud Gaming experience on the iPhone and the iPad are the annoying things that remain on the screen while you're gaming. But perhaps the most annoying intrusion is the status bar that appears on top of the iPad screen. Hopefully an upcoming update to either the iPad OS or the Cloud Gaming Web app will fix this issue. Stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos.